It's a red hat with plain text, but some believe it's become a symbol of something much more controversial than a campaign slogan. To make America great again. You've heard the president say it, but some say the brand pushes racism and hate. Gonzaga law student Austin Phelps doesn't see it that way. Sure, there are white supremacists who wear a Make America Great Again hat or other apparel. Of course there are. But the majority aren't. The majority are good people who just believe in lowering taxes, keeping guns, uh, any other conservative beliefs that you may have. Phelps posted a response in the American Bar Association Journal to another story written by Jeffrey Omari, a visiting professor at GU. Omari found the hat offensive, but didn't say anything to the student until he wrote about it online. From my progressive perspective as a black man living in an increasingly polarized political climate that is America, MAGA is an undeniable symbol of white supremacy and hatred towards certain non-white groups. How do you respond to this? His article is based on an entire assumption of the student being a white supremacist when the student's not. The student just has these political beliefs of supporting the president. Omari says he doesn't believe that the student was trying to direct a hateful message towards him and he respects his freedom of expression, but felt that the hat was like a, quote, siren spewing derogatory racial obscenities at him for the hour and 15 minute class. I think that if Omari were to ask the student, why are you wearing this? What beliefs do you have? Engage in that dialogue and then there won't be that misconception of every single person who wears a mega hat to white supremacist because that's just simply not the case. Gonzaga University School of Law's Dean Jacob Rooksby responded to the situation saying the school works to provide a respectful and inclusive environment, adding, we respect the points of view of all members of our community. This situation presents an opportunity for our community to listen and learn from each other. I think that for a conservative, myself or anyone else, to express our beliefs, we should be able to do that. We should have support from the administration and be able to engage in those conversations because at the end of the day, that's what education is about, is learning from each other. Phelps says, to his knowledge, his classmate was not reprimanded for wearing the hat in class. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Tim Pham, Krem 2 News.